Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. Last week we've made this effect. This video is sponsored by Video Lancer. Are you familiar with these video transitions? Certainly you are. Nowadays, they are the most popular transitions on YouTube. Video Lancer Motion Designer, who developed them, have created more than 3,000 of such handy seamless transitions for After Effects as well as for Premiere Pro. Try them now. Free versions are available for all subscribers of Video Lancer channel. Links for downloading in the description. Let's get started. I'm working in Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This footage you can find in the description below. Let's drag and drop on this icon here to create new composition. So let's go to Layer, New, Solid. Let's call it Saber, as this plugin we will use. This is free plugin which you can download from videocopilot.net and link to it will be in the description below. Let's drag and drop on our layer. Press T on keyboard to see our opacity. Let's set it to zero to see our background. And now let's use this pen tool to draw some ropes. So basically just start drawing like this. You can draw a couple of them. So once we have some on our hands, set a point around my hand and then zoom out and set some distant point. Then click anywhere and select our saber layer again. Then repeat this process. Remember to set first point around hand and then outwards like this. You can click on this selection tool and adjust the point. It will look best if you set the point at the angles of ropes which are drawn on our hands. Just draw more ropes and just position if you need. And now we can bring back the opacity to 100. Let's open customize core. Core type set it to layer masks. Now we can go to glow settings. Glow intensity multiplier, let's set it to 55. But first change transfer mode to add. And now let's keep adjusting glow settings. Glow intensity, let's set it to 30. Color, let's set it to more orangish look. Glow spread, let's set it to 0.3. We can disable masks to see better. Glow bias, I set it to 0.2. And core size, let's set it to 1.2. Let's also start size change to 200% and size let's set it to 7, it will give some perspective. And now let's add complexity to our rope. Here in effects and presets just type turbulence displays, drag and drop on our layer. Amount let's set it to minus 75 and size to about 3. Let's also add fast blur, just drag and drop on our layer. And let's set it to 2. Let's bring back our masks. So select this point here and, and press M on keyboard to see our masks. And then find which is selected and create keyframe at the beginning of timeline. And then at last frame of timeline, click anywhere and then select this outward point and change position. We're trying to simulate like Dr. Strangers are flying through the air. So we need some movement. Same steps repeat with other masks. Just select outward point, then find the selected mask and create a keyframe. Okay, as you can see, now we have some movement. Now let's select our saber layer and go to edit duplicate. Let's change transfer mode to normal. Let's also disable our glow intensity, set it to zero. And turbulence displays and fast blur, let's delete it. Now select our layer and go to layer, precompose. Let's call it texture. Click here to move all attributes and click OK. Let's open it, select the saber layer and go to edit, duplicate. Select the bottom one, select all and delete saber effect. And track matte, let's set it to luma matte. So basically we've created our texture from which sparks particles will be created. Select layer below and let's apply a fill effect. Just drag and drop and let's add some orangish sparkish look. Something like this. Click OK and let's go back to footage composition. Let's bring it down. Click on toggle switch and make this layer 3D. Let's close here. Then go to layer, new, solid. Let's call it part and let's find plugin called Trap Code Particular. This is external plugin and link to it will be in the description below. Just drag and drop on part layer. 
and let's set it above. Go to emitter, open emitter. Let's set particles per second to about 15,000. We'll need a lot of sparks. Let's emitter type set to layer and direction, let's set it to outwards. Direction spread, let's set it to 70. Velocity to 110. Scroll down this layer emitter and layer set it to texture. Layer sampling, let's set it to current time. And now let's work on particle look. Scroll down here. Life, let's set it to 0.5. Let's also click on this toggle switch here and change transfer mode to add. Now we can see our particles better. Life random, let's set it to 100. And particle type, let's set it to cloudlet. Feather, let's set it to zero. And size to about three. Size random, let's set it to 50. And size over life, let's select this preset here. And let's go also to the physics. Let's add some gravity. I'll set mine to 550. Drag it a bit to the left, so our particles will be already in place. As you can see, our sparks already working. Let's also select our part layer and go to Edit Duplicate. Select this layer on top. Particles increase to 20,000. Random seed, let's change to any different number. And let's also apply Fast Blur. We will simulate some smokish, burnish look in background. So just change blurriness to 9. Let's also add some animation to our robe itself. Select our saber layer, go to turbulence displays, and here at evolution, as you can see, if we will change this value, we will get some sort of animation. So let's write some expression. Hold Alt key on keyboard and click on this stopwatch. Then type here time, multiply, 750 and click anywhere. Now we can go to project panel, drag this footage on this icon here to create new composition, then press S on keyboard and here at the end we can increase it to 116. At the beginning we can select this pen behind tool and change anchor point to our face, so scale animation will simulate like we are zooming on our face. Let's also press P on keyboard to see our position, hold Alt key on keyboard and click on this stopwatch. Let's type wiggle, open bracket, 1, comma, 35, close bracket. It will give some random camera movement. Let's also press S on keyboard and change this first value to about 103. Let's preview this. So as you can see we have some subtle camera movement as well as some zooming effect. Just repeat same steps on other hand and while you are shooting your video just keep in mind that your hand should not move. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time!